so dynamine is actually a metabolite of caffeine, and it's found in naturally in certain coffees, species, and kucha tea. Um, I think it's found in kupawasu plant as well. As a metabolite of caffeine, think of it as a chemical cousin of caffeine. Same thing with, with tecrine or theocrine. They're, they're both metabolites of caffeine. With dynamine, uh, which is chemically known as uh, methylliberine, it's uh, unique in that its impact on energy and focus is very rapid, much quicker than regular caffeine all by itself. Uh, we know most of the research done on caffeine, for example, it takes 30, 60, 90 minutes for most people to feel caffeine, depending on your individual tolerance, right? What we've seen with methylliberine, dynamine uh, specifically, is that within 15 or 20 minutes, we have immediate increases in, in energy, and that's, that's good. So it doesn't take you an hour to get started. You can get started much more quickly. Tecrine also is a chemical cousin of caffeine. So when caffeine is metabolized in, in the body, it's actually broken down into a number of different compounds. The theocrine or tecrine is, is one of those compounds. Tecrine is unique though because it helps modify the effects of caffeine, much like, much like dynamine. It reduces the edginess that some people get when they have maybe, oh, I shouldn't have had that second cup of coffee, now my hands are shaking a little bit. And, it seems to mitigate or attenuate that response. So you don't get the shakes and the jitters and a little bit of the anxiety that some people feel. And the other thing that it does is that it helps, again, slow down the breakdown of caffeine within the body so that the benefits last longer. So it's kind of like two-pronged benefits. On one hand, it takes away the bad things, some of the bad effects that caffeine might have on people, in terms, again, in terms of jitteriness and edginess and, and anxiety. And also the benefit of prolonging the effect of caffeine in terms of the benefits.